Hello beautiful people, Shawnee here, and it's time for Heart Talk. So in today's Heart Talk, I'm continuing from the previous episode with two more lessons I learned while recently going through a rebrand for my makeup business. So the first lesson I shared was to make sure the timing is right for your company to do a rebrand. And I gave three reasons why I knew it was time for me to give a new twist to my old brand. So make sure you catch that episode on my YouTube channel and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. So the second lesson I learned going through this rebrand process was to hire a company that has vision and gets your vision. So this was my biggest lesson learned and it was a costly lesson too because I had to pull out of my agreement with the previous company and go in a different direction. Shout out to Laura of Data Design for coming to my rescue. You see, I thought I had hired the right company initially to bring my vision to life, but that proved not to be the case. There were red flags that I should have given more credence to. So I want you to consider these following three tips when choosing a company to share your story to the world. So tip number one, visual appeal. Make sure the company or person you hire can give you the look that you're going after. Look at their portfolio. Do you see past projects that resonate with you? Have they worked with other businesses specific to your industry? If so, does their work capture the feel of what you're envisioning? Do you see good artistic instincts? So if I was honest with myself when I hired the first company, the answer was no. They designed a beautiful site for a friend who's in a different industry, but I allowed that to be the deciding factor for hiring them. There was nothing else in their portfolio that resonated with me in the direction I was wanting to take my company, but I hoped for the best in initially choosing them because I was so ready to get a new site that I rushed into hiring them when I should have taken my time and researched a few more companies. Hindsight is 2020 as the saying goes. Tip number two, the perfect fit. Working with Laura of Data Design has been great because of the intersection between three important elements. Our personalities work well together, our mindset and vision for my business were aligned, and there was an understanding of where I was trying to take my brand. Tip number three, develop a brand strategy and use it. So Data Design made my rebrand process seamless because of her onboarding process, superior project management skills, design skills, and artistic vision. She helped me create a brand strategy that was beyond logos, color schemes, and themes, but was also written to ensure that there was a distinctive voice and consistent messaging. We outlined who I was, the direction I was taking my company, what I wanted to say, and how I wanted my clients to feel. We referred back to this when choosing colors, fonts, pictures, videos, and other design elements, so the overall brand story was cohesive. My final and third lesson that I learned while rebranding, don't be afraid to walk away. It became clear to me that this was the best thing to do when the first company I hired just could not get the vision I was going for. The project was not going in the right direction. It was being poorly managed and the process was very disjointed. There was a lack of understanding of my vision and where I wanted to take it. I was underwhelmed also with artistic design. So you can't be afraid to be honest to yourself and admit to whomever you're working with when things are just not working out. Communicate how you feel, insist on update meetings, whether in person or over the phone or virtually, to make sure everyone is on the same page. So I did all of that, hoping that it would get the project back on the right track. But I had to eventually realize and come to terms with the fact that this company was just not the best company for my rebrand. I should have pulled out from this project much sooner and doing so would have been a less costly lesson. So before you hire a company for your rebrand, find out what recourse you have if things don't work out. I was able to recoup some of my investment, but still suffered a financial loss as well as wasted time and energy. So beautiful people, if you are considering a rebrand, I hope my three lessons learned and additional tips shared are insightful and helpful. This is Hard Talk. Thanks for watching, listening, and sharing.